So how long have you been struggling with this issue? Uh, last month or two. <laughs> and what do you think is the real problem here? Uh, writer's block. Can't sleep. Um, I stare at my computer, like for, waiting for an idea, and just when I think I have one, it's gone. You can work through this, Eric. Did you ever reach out to the university's writers group? I hear they have a great program. I don't need a group of strangers weighing in on my lack of ideas. What I need is to stop taking these pills. Eric, we both know that's what brought you here in the first place. You don't want to go back to that situation again. There are other ways to get inspired. I'm giving you the writers group's number again. Their contact's name is Arthur. Give them a call, please. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. Telemarketer, please be a telemarketer. Eric, it's Cal. Maybe you remember me. I'm your editor. If we don't have those chapters, by the end of the month, they've threatened to pull our deal. I better hear from you soon, or we're done. Cal, out. You got this. You got this. Right? Psst. Hey, wake up. Eric. Wake up, you bum. Eric, you wanted help, right? Eric. I want to write right now. <laughs> Get it? Right, right now? Are we going to get to work or should I just leave? No. It took you long enough. So, if we make the love triangle between the hero, the villain, and the heroine, and then flip that around on its head in chapter three, it'll make for a really good character arc. Oh, I'm so stupid. How did I not see that connection sooner? It's so obvious now. Because you didn't have me, silly. Now quit your yapping and get to writing. Hmm. It's good to be back. This is what I live for. Yeah, feels right. Say, I gotta run to the store really quick. Wanna come with? Try and stop me. That's when there's a loser. Loser! You don't even know where you're going. I don't. Me too, Cal. Me too. Yep, I'll have even more for you at the end of the week. Yep. All right. Yep, I'll make sure to pace myself. Okay, take care. Bye. Well, well, well. You're in a good mood for a liar. What do you mean? You told him a week. We can do it in a day tops. We don't need sleep, right? Be nice. I mean, why are you doing laundry? Oh my gosh, I just had a brilliant... Okay, okay. Yay! No, no. That's stupid. Delete it. Okay, this is good enough for now. I need to eat something. Don't get mad just because you don't have good ideas. Fine, but make it quick! Do you even care? What are you doing? 
Your life's work sits 20 feet away and you're over here stuffing your face. No wonder you can't write anything without me. Jeez, take it easy. Easy? I suppose you would like things to be easy. Maybe I should just let you figure this out all on your own. Get a grip, Eric. Stop wasting your life. Now that's the spirit. I came up with the perfect way to bridge the trip from chapter 24 to the opening of book three. A plane to Toronto. I know, I know, I'm brilliant, I'm brilliant. Why aren't you writing any of this down? Where are you going? Write this down. Where are you going? Get back here. Really? A door? By the way, I figured out the perfect way to improve the antagonist in Act 2 to mimic a redemption arc. So I think the redemption arc could be really, really powerful stuff. Yeah? But, you know, we're not going to get any writing in here. I mean, first of all, there's no pens or... What are you doing? I think I need a new muse. Don't! Hey, you must be Eric. Hey, Arthur. Have a seat. Sign in for us, would you? 